Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Fox Sports North Gophers Football Report. It's your weekly look inside the Gophers Football Program. I'm your host, Evie Olson. Now, I once heard that you were originally going to go into law school to study to be an attorney. <laughs> That's correct. But uh, your father told you to pursue your passion of football. Where did that passion come from? Kind of grabbed me by the proverbial ear and said, you know, I'm passionate about the law, which is why he went into it. He said, you, you're passionate about football. So what brought you to Lakeville North? They trusted that I was ready for it, so I coached D-line in that first year. We were 14-0 and won a state championship. Certainly not because of the D-line job I did, but... Uh, oh, come on, maybe. I, yeah, I, well, a little. <laughs> Most coaches have rituals before games. Yours is playing 60s music. Why? The music is for me. It's not for the players. They're concentrating on getting ready for the game. Well, how do the fans and the players feel about your 60s music? Well, uh, it's not a big priority for me. That's very selfish, but I don't really care to seek out opinions nor listen to them. The Gophers have a tall test ahead this weekend in the season finale as their neighbors from the south, the Iowa Hawkeyes, come to town to the battle for the Floyd of Rosedale. What are the challenges of coaching young women? It's totally different than coaching boys, that's for sure. So do you think there's an advantage to having a female coach an all-female sport? I feel like I have an advantage because I know what they're going through and I know what, what it's like to be a high school girl. So after the split in 2005, what did it do to this town? People didn't know who to cheer for. I think we lost some of those people that were, I'm all about Lakeville. Well, now it's north and south, and if you're not necessarily one or the other, it'd be real easy to fall in the cracks and be neither. Let's wrap things up on the Facebook question of the week. This week's question comes from Robin Jackson of St. Paul. His question, did Laniel Land have the best pair of hands to come through the doors at Creighton Durham Hall? All right, that's old school, I'll tell you that. What would it take to get you to coach a Division I school? I've noticed you've had some tattoos on your arms. How many tattoos do you have in total, and which one means the most to you? That will do it for this week's edition of Fox Sports North Gophers Football Report. Be sure to check out FoxSportsNorth.com for updates on the Gophers and more inside access. For Mike Pomerantz and Coach Horton, I'm Evie Olson. Thanks for joining us right here on Fox Sports North Gophers Football Report.